big city of London, England. Here's what we're looking at right at the airport. Day is gonna start. Big in England two times. And I got my special guest with me still. He's he's my guest. Mr. Dougie Doggin over there. So <laughs> We teamed up and shared up the room here. I planted coins in his bed. He found them all night long, so I <laughs> kept him busy. Yeah. So we're fixing to gear up. We're fixing to head out of here and get to Colchester, and uh, we're gonna do a little digging today. And uh, so sit back, enjoy the ride, and we'll turn the camera on when we get back in the field. Let's go have some fun. Well, we are geared up, fixing to head out to uh, our location amongst a lot of fellow YouTubers. We got Kevin with Potter County Metal Detective. We all know this guy, Missouri Mike here. Okay, he's ready to go, isn't he? I am. He is ready to go. We got the Jeff Floodmaster Ford over here. Yeah, we'll be digging. Daddy Digger. Yeah. We know DK though. Know DK very well. We got the Relic Rangers over here. Andrew in Virginia. Was it Seth? Russ. 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 Seth over here. Yeah. Guys, yeah, so we're ready to go out and do some detecting. What do you want to find on your first trip? Uh, hammered, anything hammered. Uh, but you know, if I find a King George, I'll be happy. Yeah. That'll let's hold me. Yeah, King George. Virginia, are you looking for anything? I'm just looking for anything. Any history would be fun. Yeah. Just anything. That's true. Just anything would be great, wouldn't it? Well, you're going to have a good time. I promise you that. <laughs> you'll, dig, you'll dig coppers left and right. Hopefully we will. Maybe some gold coins will get in there. But anyway, we'll see you guys out in the field. <laughs> DK, you going to dig your gold hammer? You know, I'm going to get about two of them. Two of them. I'll give you one. All right, man. Man, that's, that's generous, isn't it? Nugget, what are you going to get? A gold Roman. A gold Roman. Man, it's going to be plastic, though, right? No, you going to get hammered to get Today, the wind's probably 30 miles an hour. You can probably hear it through the microphone. But we're back out here on our first location. You can see all the guys out here and girl. And we got this first field. And uh, so we're going to get out there and start digging. And hopefully you can hear what I'm saying because it is very windy. And so let's get out here and see what we find. Let's go have some fun. It's day one. Day one. Let's go. I'm hunting with my Equinox today. I've got my setup just going to be in park one. And uh, we're just going to leave the uh, ground balance where it's set, uh, volume right there. We're gonna just leave everything it as it is. The only thing I'm gonna bring down is gonna be my uh, recovery speed. We're gonna leave it, at, we're gonna put it at a four. And uh, let's get off all that. And we're gonna run up my sensitivity about 20, 21, 22, 21. Let's go with that. All right, let's go out there and let's go have some fun. Well, for, sorry about the wind, folks. It is blowing about 30 miles an hour out here today. Been walking about an hour. Fields are pretty quiet. Not a whole lot out here. Good plowed fields, though. Got my first decent target. It's just going to be a flat button. But I thought I'd show it because that's the only thing I've gotten so far. I've gotten a bunch of trash and a bunch of lead. But this is the first bu uh, flat button. That's a decent find. It's a start. Let's keep on going. Maybe we'll find something else. No design on it. Can't even stand up. The wind's blowing so hard. All right, let's keep going. This is my first good target right here. 26, 28, 25. About six inches deep. Let's live dig this one and see what we come up with. Y'all can hear me. Let's see if I got it out of the hole yet. Yeah, it's in the clod. Come on, let it be a good coin, good copper. Well, my pinpointer's not working. There it is on this clod. There it is. There it's going to be a copper. Oh, about time. Check this out. It's in the pluck clod there. Let me get out in the sun where you can see it. Yeah, I think it's going to be a copper. 
Let me uh, clean it up before it dries up and get my other coin. I mean, my other camera. And we'll see what this is. All right, looks like it's going to be a King George III. He's there facing to the right. I can see the little wreath on his head. And uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it says 1800. King George III. All right, I need King George II. There's Britannia on the back. Bringing up pretty good, which these normally do. They're good shape and pretty thick. All right, I'll take a King George. Let's just get a few more centuries from King Williams and Marys and everything else. All right, let's keep going. Good find, that's a good start. I just dug that uh, King George III right there. Came right over here. Got another signal dug down. It's in the sidewall right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's gonna be, uh, I don't know what that is. some type of I don't know what that is some type of fancy something I don't know well I was getting a solid 12 dug down and looks like it's gonna be a tomback button yeah a nice tomback button thought I had a silver coin there for a second hammered but now it's just gonna be a tomback all right let's keep going I was getting a five. I'm shooting for that gold coin out here, but it's not a gold coin. It's just going to be another little flat button. No shank on it. But I'll take it. Fines are kind of few and far between out here right now. It's been a little while since I dug that uh, KG3. But, uh, hey, I'll take a flat button. Some people just walked right through here. And just, I'm about five foot off of their spot. And got it. All right, let's keep going. It's getting a 16. Very shallow on the equinox here it's getting a 16 and dug it up I was having a hard time to find it but i did find it eventually it's gonna be right there you know what that is that's gonna be a pocket watch winding key that's kind of dating some history there that's a good little find all right i'll take it well the finds are few and far between and uh so let's keep going i was getting a seven. Oh, it's about six inches deep you see it right there? I think this could be silver, folks. I don't I don't know, ringing up a seven, but I see some silvery edges on it. That looks silver, that, that looks silver. Let me get uh, my other camera and we'll get a close up and see what this is gonna be. It's time to break out the holy water. It's definitely gonna be silver. But I can't tell what it's going to be. It's, I see something right there. But it's definitely going to be silver. I don't think it, I don't know. I might get some help on this one. Let me get my other camera. We'll get a close up and we'll see what this is going to be. It's definitely going to be silver. You can see the edges on it. I just can't tell if it's going to be a fabric silver or pretty thin. I believe it's going to be a hammer itself, but it's got so much uh, tarnish on it. We're going to try to clean this up later and see if we can't get a positive identification. It's definitely silver. All right. I got silver for the day. You can see right there, it's looking really good. All right. Let's, uh, we'll clean this up later on. We'll see what this is, and I'll let you know. Preacher Digger done struck some silver. Now it's time to get some gold. Let's go. I was getting a 16 and popped it out. Boy, these scare me every time. It looks just like a silver coin, doesn't it? But it's going to be a, a tomback button. Yeah, that'll clean up real nice. I like these tombacks. They're real good shiny buttons. Uh, it doesn't have anything on it, doesn't look like. No, nope, just going to be clean, but it looks like, like a silver coin coming out of the ground. Shank is broke. I'll take it. Let's keep going. Well, I got another 16 on my Equinox, and it's going to be another tomback button. I dug the other one just right up there. Probably about right in there. All right. That's my third one today. Boy, they scare you. It looks like a silver dime every time. Shank's broken on the back. All right. Almost out of daylight. Let's keep going. Got a good signal right here. Just going to show it to you. 27, 28. Pretty shallow too. 
two inches deep. Let's see if this ain't going to be a copper for us. Oh, come on. Let's dig this live here. It's not going to be very deep. Oh, maybe it's not trash. It's going to be one of my last targets for the day. It's going to be right over here. Oh, look what I'm digging up. I'm digging up an antenna. Boy, look at that. That's, that's just not right. That's just not right. Well, we're on a new location. This is day two. Day two, day one is in the books. It was a good day. Found a few things. Well, just had a half a day, but back out here, day two now. We got new, uh, new fields here. Got this big field, and the one behind the tree line back over there. Very rainy and windy today, but at least it's not that cold. And so, uh, hopefully, it's going to be a good day. So, uh, let's quit the talking. Let's get to swinging. So, let's go have some fun. Well, I got my first signal here on day two. Bring it up like a 16 to 18. I'll turn you around here. It's going to be a, uh, I think it's going to be a part of a crotal bell. Uh, like a broken crotal bell. That's my best guess. Definitely domed like a bell. Been out here about 20 minutes, I guess. A couple, like a couple of trash targets and then this. My first decent find. All right, let's keep going for that coin. Gold coin for sure. I was getting a 1516 here, and uh, this is real nice. It's real thick and heavy. It's uh, some type of brad, maybe off a saddle or something like that. Had a little gold gilt on it right there. I'll take those relics any day. I like this kind of stuff. All right, looks like maybe a little saddle brad or something. All right, let's keep going. Looking for that elusive gold coin. Let's get it, guys. Let's do it. And girls, I should say. Let's get an 18 and a uh, little ball button here with the shank still on it. Thought I'd show it to you since it's a different type of button. 18 is typically what my hammers have been ringing up out here on the Equinox. So definitely dig anything from 11 to an 18 because that's hammered. All right, let's keep going. Good little find. But I want the coins. Looking for that gold coin. Let's get it. Or a Roman. Let's get a 20. Real shallow target. I don't know what I got here. Maybe a button, maybe a coin, I'm not sure. Let me clean this up a little bit, get my other camera, we'll see what this is. It's definitely some type of coin. It's awful thin. And I can't tell if it's a corroded up silver or is it going to be like a real old, maybe like a King James farthing. Can't get anything off of it. Not right now out here in the field. But it definitely is a, uh, it's definitely a coin. No doubt about it. All right. Unidentified right now. I'll see what if I can find out by the end of the video we can identify this thing. All right. Let's keep on going. Getting a real good uh, high tone right here. Let's uh, live dig this, see what we get. Could be a uh, a copper. Still in the hole here. see what we got now yep and then lost it all right let's see if we can find it now that's disappearing on me There we go. I see it right there. It's not going to be a coin. It's going to be some type of a... I don't know, maybe decorative... Uh, 
little decorative brass piece. All right, let's keep going. Well, it's been a while since my last target, but I just got an 18 here, and it looks like it's going to be a copper. Yeah, it's going to be a Queen Vicky. Let me get my other camera, and we'll get a close-up on this and get a date on it. It's going to be a Queen Vicky Penny, Queen Victoria. And turn it over around the bottom, 1866. All right, I'll take it, man. Targets have been kind of few and far between. I'll take this. All right, let's keep going. I'm on my way up to the house. Up there, I'm gonna eat some lunch. That's a nice find on the way in. Well, we just got through eating lunch. All the guys came over from that other field. They're all over here. I just got coming down straight from the house, coming down, working a straight line, got a 21. And this is about the size of a half a dollar. Check that out. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's going to be a button. It's got a hole in the middle of it. It's going to have scalloped edges around it. Check that out. It's not going to be a coin. Definitely going to be some type of uh, ornate. Yeah, look at that. Let me clean this up and get a uh, get my other camera and get a close up of it. I think what I have here is probably a piece of came off a dresser where the handles were or something like that. Nice piece of brass, decorative, nothing on the back. All right, just another artifact, relic. Let's keep on going. Let's get a solid 18 right here. Popped it up out of the hole. I can see it right here in the dirt clod. It looks like it's gonna be a, uh, maybe a copper. Yeah, it's gonna be a copper. Let me, uh, Yeah, let me get my other camera. We'll clean it up and we'll see what it is. I really don't know what this is going to be. It's about the size of a half penny. It's real thin. It could be a KG2. Uh, definitely going to be 1700s. That's too thin to be a KG3. But I really can't get anything. It's pretty wiped clean. I can't get any definition off of it. It's a little bit on the edges, but I can't really tell out here in the field. All right, that's still a good find. Another greenie in the box. Let's keep on going. Me and Nugget came up from that other field. Nugget's right over there. We're gonna hunt this field up here where the rest of the team hunted earlier, but it's a big field. There's a lot. I just got a good 20, 22 signal and uh, popped it up. And it's gonna be definitely a copper that's been hit with a plow. I don't know what type it is. Definitely been hit, tacoed. It's pretty toasty. Let me see if I can clean it up and see what it is and we'll keep on going. Really not certain what this is. It looks a little different. It's got a different design on the back and different type of bust. Um, maybe a KG2, looking off to the left there. It could be a KG2. Looks like a one penny. All right, let's keep on going. Yeah, well, I was just getting a 22 on the Equinox right here. Uh, probably about oh six inches deep. And there it is right here. It's going to be a big, uh, big copper. Let's see if we can get any definition off of it. Wind is horrible out here. Let me clean it up and get my other camera and we'll see what it is. Okay, it's going to end up being a King George III. I don't know the date on it. It's going to be anywhere from uh, 1695 to, I mean, 1795 to 1816. Uh, there's Britannia. All right, man. This is my seventh, I think, sixth or seventh copper. I may stay up here a little bit longer and work this ridge here. There's DK with Adventures in Dirt. And, uh, and so we're going to be working this little side right here a little bit. Well, I was just talking to the landowner. He's, he drove through here. He's 87 years old. He's telling me all about the land and stuff like that. And uh, some people were walking through his property. And I asked him about it. He goes, no, this is a footpath. All this right through here is a footpath. So I decided to go up on the footpath because it's part of the property and hunt it. And check this out. <clears throat> My first target is right here. 
and this is going to be a silver coin check that out it was down there about eight inches deep let me get my other camera I'll clean this up and uh, it's not going to be hammered but definitely can see a bust on it right there and possibly a date so let's clean this let me get the other camera and we'll clean that up see what it is going to be silver. I can see the edges on it. Probably going to be early 1800s. Somewhere around there. I don't want to rub it too much. Rub it a little bit off. Let me get my other camera and we'll see what this it's is. It's going to be, I believe, an 1878 Queen Victoria. There's the crown, and you see on the bottom of the crown on the left side is 18 and something 8. I think it's 78. So 1878, Queen Victoria. I'll take that. It's not a hammered, but I'll take it. Let's get the 2324 solid hit right here. Just popped it up. And it's going to be a nice decorative buckle. Check that out. That's my first buckle on the trip. All right, I'm just working this footpath down through here, and that's all I'm doing. All right, let's keep going. Let's get a 23, 24. That's always indicative of a big copper, and just popped it up. It was pretty deep, probably about uh, eight inches deep, and uh, it's thin. That's what I like, deep and thin. If I can get any definition off of it. No, I might just clean this up later. Maybe I can get something off of it. Maybe a KG2, hopefully. Let me clean it up. If I can get anything off of it, I'll show you. If not, we'll move on. I really don't know what this is going to be. It's about the size of a half penny. It's real thin. It could be a KG2. Uh, definitely going to be 1700s. That's too thin to be a KG3. But I really can't get anything. It's pretty wiped clean. I can't get any definition off of it. It's a little bit on the edges, but I can't really tell out here in the field. All right. That's still a good find. Another greenie in the box. Let's keep on going. Well, I think I've got my first hammered silver of the trip. I have it. It's still in the coin ball. I haven't even looked at it. I'm scared to even look at it. It's a, it's a good size, about the size of a quarter. And it's thin. I can tell it's hammer. It's got a little writing on the edge. I can see just a little bit. Let me uh, turn you around. See it right here? I just popped it out. It's ringing up as a 15 to 16 on the Equinox. And there it is. That is hammered silver, friends. Let me get my other camera. Let's break out the holy water. Let's clean this up. It's time to break out the holy water. Out here let's pop it oh yeah that's gonna be hammered hammered silver oh yeah that looks good looks good I don't know what I got but it definitely is hammered silver Let's see if I can get some uh, direction on it here let me dry it up a little bit oh yeah that looks good 16 1630 or 1680 there's the shield. I can't tell if that's a... Or 1600. 1600. That's not old as I want it to be, but boy, I'm glad to be on the board today. 
See if we can get some king off of here. No, I can't get anything off of it. Let me get my other, other camera. We'll get a close up. All right, forgive me for the wind. It's so windy out here, but there it is. 1600 hammered silver right there. There's going to be the back of it. Can't really see. There should be a king back here or something, but I can't tell. I think that's 1600. Wow, I'll take that. That's beautiful. Got my first hammered here on my second Indian trip. Put it down where you can see it better.